channel, Health Ignite Fitness. Today we're going to be doing a day one, which is going to be an arm workout. So you're going to be focusing on your biceps, your triceps, as well as your shoulder area. I'll be uploading how I train during the week. I'm going to be doing strength training. Maybe once I'll upload a hit workout for this week. Like I posted on my Instagram, if you follow me there, I've been doing hit workouts throughout like about two weeks <laughs> and I've lost a little bit of muscle mass. So I just want to start building that back up again. So I'll be doing strength training and then maybe once I'll do a hit training as well. I hope you guys enjoy this workout. We're going to do a quick warm up. You're going to do the workout. You're going to be doing 15 reps for three sets with about 30 to 60 seconds rest in between your sets. And then we're going to do a quick cool down as well. You can join me and we're going to start with your warm up. You can start by doing arm swings. So you're going to swing forwards first. You can swing backwards. Next, you're going to be doing arm pulses. Remember to engage your biceps, your triceps, as well as your forearms and your wrists. So you're going to, and your, your shoulders. So you're going to keep your arms next to your sides, not higher than shoulder height. So you want to level them up. And then you're going to pulse up and down. Next, you're going to be doing wrist stretches. So first, you're going to bring your fingers upwards and pull back. And then press forward. You'll also feel this in your forearms. And back. And back and forward and forward and back and forward. You can stand with your feet next to each other and you're going to be doing wrist circles. So first upwards Thank you. 
Just shake out your arms. That is it for your warm up. You can join me and we're going to start with the first exercise. Your first exercise is going to be bicep curls. So you can stand with your feet together. You're going to have a slight bend in your knees. You're going to engage your core. And then you can either do a double bicep curl or you can go one at a time. I'm going to go one at a time, but keep your other dumbbell in your other hand. So you're going to be doing 15 reps per side. So you can start. Remember also to push your shoulders backwards. Really engage the muscle and then lift up. Again, do the other side. Remember, keep your elbows next to your sides, roll your shoulders back, engage the muscle, and also have a tight grip on your weight that will engage your forearm as well. You can start. Just shake out your arms and stand still in one position. as well and you can start. Switch sides. 
And relax. And shake out your arms again. Walk in one place. Move from side to side. Or you can take a seat and rest as well. I'm using about 4 kgs for my weights. Uh, the reason for that is because I don't want to build bigger and I build quite quickly so I stay with my 4 kgs and then I just switch between my tempos or the amount of reps that I do and the amount of sets that I do and how I do them so usually I stay with my 4 kgs sometimes I'll up it to a 6 kg sometimes I'll go down and use very light 1.2 kgs as well depending on how I feel the day and what I want to accomplish you can do your set and last set. Shoulders back, have a bend in your knee, or you can stand straight as well. And switch sides. Your next exercise is going to be triceps, triceps, so you're going to be doing skull crushers and we're going to be lying on the floor. You can grab both dumbbells or you can only have one. You're going to bring your arms upwards, your wrist over your shoulders, and then you're going to bend by the elbow. Lower down and make sure that you're using your triceps to bring them back up. You can start.
While you're busy doing the skull crushers, remember to point your elbows outwards and try to keep them close, so parallel with your shoulder. Don't bend them outwards. Keep them straight. You can do your second set. Also remember to push your back into the floor. Don't arch your back. You can start. And relax. You can come up. Your next exercise is going to be a shoulder exercise. For my first set, I'm going to do with my four kgs and then maybe my second and my third, I'll do with my lighter weights, depending on how I feel. So you're going to stand with your feet together. You're going to have a bend in your knees. Contract everything. Roll your shoulders backwards. You're going to lift up your arms to the sides, not higher than shoulder height. So you're going to lift up and down. 
and up and down. You need to be feeling this all the way in your shoulder area. You can do this one arm as well so, and you can be seated if you want to. I'm going to do with both my weights. You can start. You're gonna have a slight bend in your elbow. So you don't lock out your arms. And relax. Do a second set. Feet together, shoulders back, slight bend in your knee. Contract everything, including your glutes. Engage your shoulders and lift. You can start. And relax. You'll also feel this in your biceps. the movement needs to be controlled so as you lift up you need to control the movement don't just lift and release back down you need to control as you lift it up and back down again engaging your shoulder the whole time you can do your third set feet together shoulders back engage your core and your glutes You can start.
If you struggle, you can also go one arm at a time. And relax. Shake up everything. You can take a longer break, so 30 to 60 seconds here, or you can join me and we're going to do another bicep exercise. The next bicep exercise is going to be hammer pulls. So you're going to grab both your weights. Stand with your feet together again. Have a slight bend in your knees. Push your shoulders backwards. And then you're going to lift up your weight pointing towards the front. So you're not going to twist your wrist. It's going to stay like this. You can do it together again or you can do one at a time. I'm going to do mine together, so you can start, remember elbows also close to your sides, don't push them outwards or backwards next to your side. Bend in your knee, contract your core and your glutes, push your shoulders backwards. And you can start. One at a time. 
And relax. going to do singles this time. You can start. going to be a tricep exercise again and this time we're going to be doing kickbacks so for this exercise you're going to grab hold of one of your dumbbells you're going to bend down and you can either sit on both knees lifting your elbow up and kicking backwards. You can also do this on a bench or you can go up into a lunge position. Bring your elbow up and kick back. You can start. Oh, you can also do this exercise standing with your feet together, bending sitting into your squat position, bending your back, and kicking backwards. I'm going to stand in the lunge, lunge position. So you can start.
again, switch sides. And start.
last exercise is going to be shoulders again and we're going to be doing front raises. You can pick up both of your weights, going to stand with your feet together. You can have a slight bend in your knee. Engage your core and your glutes, push your shoulders backwards and you're going to be lifting your arms towards the front, not higher than shoulder height. And lowering them back down. You can also do this one arm at a time, which I'm going to be doing. So you can start on your right side. To your other side, remember you're going to also have a slight bend in your elbow. You can start.
last set we're going to be doing it a little bit different so you're going to stand with your feet still together slight bend in your knee but this time you're going to bring your right arm up towards the front make sure that you keep everything else pointing forwards so you don't want to twist completely you want to make sure that you're only using your shoulder muscle for this so you're going to lift up towards the side and then your other arm you're going to be feeling it in your bicep as well but make sure that the majority of the movement comes from your shoulder you can start your elbow with your right hand and you're going to pull your arms on towards you keep your shoulders down don't lift it up Just push your right arm as far down as possible. You can switch. 
Beach Arms. Next you're going to be using the wall to stretch, stretch out your shoulder and your chest.